Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my room leaped for joy. Blessed is that she who has believed what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. I am the Lord. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his Savior. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. Wow, that was beautiful! Yes, it was. <laughs> Mary stayed with Elizabeth for a few weeks and then returned home to Nazareth. But by now it was more obvious that she was going to have a baby. But Joseph was a righteous man, and so he decided to put her away privately instead of trading her out into the streets, which, which is often what happened in cases like this. Hey, look at all those people. They're all staring at Mary and pointing at her. They're whispering, too. What are they saying? We probably don't want to know. But Mary didn't do anything wrong. I know that, and you know that, that, but nobody else in her hometown knew that. Poor Mary. Why doesn't somebody do something? Watch, somebody will. God is going to do something. Not long after Joseph had decided to put Mary away where she would be safe, God sent an angel to speak to him in a dream. David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. The prophet Isaiah had foretold this many years before, saying, The Lord himself will give you a sign, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. And if you translate the word Emmanuel, it means God with us. Wow, that's a great name. What did Joseph do when he woke up? He did just what the angel of the Lord had commanded him to do. He took Mary home as his wife. <laughs> drama that went on in Rome, the Roman ruler Caesar Augustus ordered that everyone in their country, the countries under his rule had to be counted. Why would they do that? Something about taxes, whatever those are. But in order to be counted, everyone had to go back where their family was from originally. Sort of like a family reunion? A little bit, but without all the games and potato salad. That's too bad. I love potato salad. Did they have cookies? I love cookies, too. I don't think so. Then it really wasn't much like a family reunion at all. <laughs> no, it wasn't. In fact, for Mary and Joseph, it was a pretty long and difficult time, especially now that Mary was expecting a baby. <coughs> Where did they have to go? Well, first you have to know that that Joseph belonged to the house and not to the line of King David. Ooh, a king? Wow, that's really cool. I bet the king was born in a big, beautiful palace. Is that where Joseph and Mary went? No, actually King David wasn't born in a palace. Before God chose David to be the king, he was a young shepherd boy from a little town called Bethlehem. So Joseph had to go back to Bethlehem, the town of his ancestors? David? Right. Wait a minute. Bethlehem? 
Is it that they one they sing about? <coughs> the one they call a little town of Bethlehem? Yes, it's the same one they sing about. <coughs> That song. They even sing about it, how the sun and stars go by. Listen, I think someone's going to sing it now.
song. Just think, a new star, star in the sky. How wonderful, how glorious. No one on earth could have missed that. It's amazing that not only did people miss the Messiah then, but that they still miss him now. Maybe it's because they just aren't looking for the Messiah. But God didn't rely on a single new star to announce the birth of his son. He also sent an angel to tell a group of shepherds all about it. Of course, it really frightened the shepherds to suddenly see an angel. Jerusalem with him. 
He called in the Jewish chief priest and the teachers of the law and asked them where the Messiah was to be born. Then the scribe said, In Bethlehem and Judea, for this is what the prophet has written. And then the priest said, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd my people Israel. The evil king Herod questioned the three wise men very carefully about when the star had appeared for the first time, and then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, come and tell me so that I can come and worship him too. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed on coming to the house. They on coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they gave him their gifts and went back to their own countries. But having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they went home a different way. Yes, yes, we'll get you some cookies, come on. (laughs) 